Research confirms that most people would abandon the New Year's resolution by mid-January. To be successful in our New Year's resolution, we must know that it's not just a one-off decision that we made. We have to make daily hard choices to achieve the goals we set for ourselves. A lot of people find that to have a coach or an accountability partner can help them. In today's passage, Paul tells us that the Holy Spirit can be our accountable accountability partner if we walk step in step with him then we can achieve true freedom in Christ. Three things I've learned from today's passage. The first thing is we must stand firm. Paul states that Jesus has given us freedom. But when the Galatians embraced the law as the only way to have relationship with God, they abandoned Jesus and his grace. They will return back to bondage from sin and death again. We must make sure that these false teachings don't come through us. We must stand firm. And God pleaded, pleaded, pleaded to us that we must use his strength each day to stand firm against all these wrong teachings. Otherwise, we'll be entangled in bondage again. The second thing I've learned is we must express our freedom through love and service. Paul teaches the Galatians that... Um, as Christians, we cannot use our freedom to please our flesh, but to please God by expressing love to one another. In this way, we can fulfill the great commandment, loving God with everything we have and loving the people as if it is ourselves. So to God, being circumcised or uncircumcised means nothing. The only thing that matters if we're more like Christ, to love like Christ, love the Father and love the people around us and to serve them. In this way, we'll fulfill the law. The third thing I've learned is we must keep in step with the Holy Spirit. Paul shows us that those who are saved by God have an obligation to live under his instruction. Now, we're not saved by works, but we must prove ourselves that we are worthy of his call each day. So we follow his instructions. How can we do that? By being in step with the Holy Spirit each day. When we have accountability with the Holy Spirit and walk with him, we can achieve our true freedom. In this way, we can grow the fruit of the Holy Spirit in our life. And this will not only help us, but to please God as well. My application today is to produce fruit it takes time, it's hard work, and it's just, just a one-off decision. Every day we need to cultivate this fruit in our life. So therefore, we must keep in step with the Holy Spirit so that we can cultivate God's love, peace, patience, and all the fruit in our life. We must learn to resist the, whole, resist the devil and the false teaching and to embrace the Holy Spirit to sow in the spirit rather than the flesh each day. In this way, we will bring glory to God and joy to the city. My prayer today is, Father, we thank you for the freedom we have in Christ. Help us to live in this freedom with love for, the, for you and also for the people around us. May the fruit of the Spirit grow in us so that we can bring joy to the world. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.